so quiet. <laughs> so cheers. The sun's up, shining through. I had my um, windshield shade off this morning so I could see the sun come up. This is my first cup of coffee. I'm having it with you today. I'm enjoying myself out here. It is so quiet and it's very isolated. The closest person to me is over that way. And uh, I've said hi to him a few times. He walks his dog. I'm out walking a lot, so I walk. Since I'm out here, I want to get my 10,000 steps again every day. It is, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take less than 10,000. I need to um, be more adamant about it and get my exercise and, and do self care while I'm out here. So I went for a walk yesterday. I was working on my podcast and I'm trying to get my walking in, maybe do like three or 4,000 steps each time I go out. So I walked all the way down that way. And I run across, uh, she was in a minivan. So I thought, oh, um, she looks like she's about my age. And so I went up to her and I waved at her. I wanted to make sure um, that I was, uh, could approach her, her minivan. I assume that a lot of people are out here and yeah. I don't assume that everybody just wants to like um, hang out together and party. Some people might be out here to uh, get some isolation or go inward and um, be introspective and they want, they want that alone time and they really don't want to deal with anybody. So I try to respect that and uh, I motioned to her that I was going to come in and she said, oh, okay. Um, and we uh, introduced our names, excuse me. And uh, she goes, you look, she goes, you look familiar. <laughs> and uh, I go, oh, I go, you recognize me? She goes, yeah, I do. She goes, uh, I used to watch your videos. I haven't watched some in a while. And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> We had a good conversation. It was nice meeting you. Shout out to Colleen if she watches. <clears throat> so I'm enjoying it. And I'm trying to get all of my different types of exercising in. Because for me, that's important. Now, I can't slackline. I know that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I, can, I can still do other things that I might do in a gym to get the same, it's kind of the same effect. But walking is very important. And getting my podcast together. It'll be up on Tuesday. Now I do want to mention also the um, Amazon links in the description of my videos. That those are, all of the links are items that I have used and tested out that I've bought in, in the past. So, um, so I'm happy with them and you can also purchase them knowing that they work. They're not going to fall apart. If they do, if something, if I wasn't happy with something and I put it up, I would take it right back down. <clears throat> now, like the GoPro, the camera that I bought that was quite disappointing. It was in the wrong packaging. It looked like it was a, a refurbished GoPro and, and it wasn't the one that they actually sent me in case you didn't see the video of why I returned it. Um, I didn't even put that up. I'm not going to put up a link unless I actually use it. So, But if you want to go on the links, if you go through the link and you look at the item that is for the link, but you decide that you want to look at other items and you find something that maybe is a better price, as long as you went through that link, I will still get... It's a small amount, but I will still get a very small amount of commission for that. So as long as you went into the door of my link and you were shopping around and you decided to buy something else, buy what was on the link or buy something else, I will get a benefit from that. Now, let's say you put it in your shopping cart. 
because you want to buy it later. As long as it's in your shopping cart and it's within 24 hours of putting it in and you purchase it, yes, I will still get a, uh, a benefit from that. But if you put in your link in your shopping cart, I mean, and it's in there for a couple days, no, I, w I would not do that. So um, if you want to really give me a benefit, go back, get it out of your cart, go back through my link and go in. So if you want to shop Amazon, um, maybe go through my link and then go shopping. And uh, if you know that you're going to buy it within a 24 hour period, if you want to benefit. Um, now I know some of you have suggested that um, I get a PayPal and I used to have a PayPal account way back, but I would rather you benefit from it too. I don't, I don't ever um, want you to just give me money. So, cause you know, I have money, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and or no GoFundMe or anything like that. So if you want to give me benefit, you know, buy something from Amazon. That way it's a win-win for the both of us. You get something really cool and I get a little bit of a commission. So, and then <clears throat> if you really want to help me, um, subscribe. Oh yeah, subscribe, <coughs> subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That always helps me too. And then watch the video all the way through. So I'm going to get ready. Wash my cup out, kind of organize this up a little bit, and then I'm going to go for a walk. I had to come back to um, my minivan got warm out there and I had the, the flannel um, climate right shirt on I still have the pants on but at least I get this and then I put these on so the Sun uh, can stay away from it but I found this um, I, I forget what they're called but this is actual um, a roping that you can take apart if you needed roping there's a whistle, there's a compass, and then there's something that you can cut with right there. Yeah. Let me see if I can take this down. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of sharp. Here's the whistle. And then there's the compass. Yeah, this is this cordage, and it's so many feet, in case you ever you wear it, and in case you ever get into any situation. I found out, I thought, oh, I'll wear it. Ooh, bling. This is like BLM bling. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, so, let me put on my gloves again. I don't know how many steps I did, but I need more steps. Oh yeah, but I had to. I had to go pay. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the morning. It's probably the most annoying thing about morning. I love mornings. The most annoying is I, I gotta go pee a lot. I found as I get older, like, gotta stay close to my mini man. Okay, let's go. Oops, got my tissue. Okay. Oh, the sun's going to be horrible, I bet, out here. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, there we go. The sun's over there. Okay. Get my walking in. I want you all to be dizzy. <laughs> Here's where the GoPro would have come in nice so that it could... Um, one of you had mentioned, well, set your camera to... Um, you know to stabilize well I looked it up in on iPhones the stabilization is built into the camera you can't really set it for that so okay let's go oh you mentioned one of you asked about mice mice um 
I have I've shown it before and I'll, I'll, when I get back I'll, I'll show it to you but I have a solar powered um, light a sensor light it's small and you power it up with solar in the day I'll pull when I get back I'll pull it out and put it in the Sun and then um, if something scurries by, even if I walk by, it will, and I have it turned on, it will light up if something scurries by. I haven't heard anything, so, good. This is my solar light that I put under my hood. Here's the solar panel. Here's how you turn it on. It'll go off in a minute as long as there's no movement. So at night, I put this under my engine area, under my minivan. So yeah, I really like this. I should have got two, but I only got one and uh, it's probably working because I haven't heard any mice or anything. So. Back to my walk. Arizona sun. Arizona landscape. There's not many people out here right now. Well, not in this area. So yeah, I found a little rock to sit on and just sit here for a second. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's there's a vehicle there. But yeah, uh, you asked one of you, or oh, a few of you said, I hope you're de-stressing. I am, thank you. I think I'm pretty much de-stressed. Well, I'm sure I could be completely de-stressed, you know, 100%. I said there's always that little bit, you know. I mean, life isn't, you know, we're not in heaven yet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, for the most part, I'm doing really good. I'm enjoying this. I think I'm going to stay out here for a while. I saw in New Mexico, they're going to do, um, uh, the governor is going to do another lockdown. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess I'm in a good spot out here. Let the cities deal with it. It would be nice to get back to normal, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen, so I guess, yeah, I can deal with things. We all can deal with things. Okay, let's continue on with my walk. Yeah. I wonder how many of you walk during the day. Do you? Let me know in the comments how, how many steps you do or how long you walk. I have the a pedometer on my phone so I can tell how many steps I've gone. So let's get going the steps. There's my rock. There's my rock. Actually, Jesus is my rock. <laughs> yeah, even dogs out here. Um, this guy has two big white dogs and I'm out walking and they both, he wasn't watching, they're not tied up and they, um, they ran up but then stopped so I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out and uh, I tried to stay a little bit away from because they're going to be protective of the uh, rig and uh, so I said, oh, it's okay, nice. And they all, both of them, they're big, big white dogs, big white dogs. Uh, maybe German Shepherd, but they were big and they were not, not pit bulls. And they just both start jumping all over me. I've got hair all over my clothes and I've got dog snot over here. And so I started yelling. I could see some feet on the other side of the van. And um, he came, I goes, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I said, well, I go get dog hair all over me. Can you like get them off me? Because uh, they were, and when he jumped up, one was way up here. 
I didn't want to get scratched. So even on BLM land, we have some um, dog owners that uh, are not, and, and the law says you must be, and don't have to be tied, but they, you must be in control of your dogs. I think that's the way it's worded. Um, you must be in control of them. So, uh, and I said, well, I go, yeah, thanks. I go, he goes, well, they're puppies and I can't really tie them up and they need to run. I said, well, that might be so, but uh, I've got a right to walk around here too without being jumped on by dogs, large dogs. He goes, oh, I know, I'm sorry. You know, so, uh, yeah. More dogs. <laughs> More dogs.
Need to make some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna have some a couple of tomatoes and an apple. Dip them in uh, dressing, and that'll be something light. And then maybe steam something, um, maybe a sweet potato later on, and have that maybe in a bowl of soup. Hmm. Some crackers. 